Hey everybody, Jay Salen here. Welcome back to Jay Salen Music. And on today's episode, there's a new captain in town. Stick around. Maybe you've seen my previous episode on the Mellow Audio MIDI Commander. If not, you can find a link to that episode in the description below. That episode uh, focuses on the MIDI Commander, which is a uh, MIDI pedal by Mellow Audio. And I was using it to attempt to uh, control a program called Quanti Loop, which is a software looper. Uh, I've recently purchased a Boss RC500 a pedal looper and uh, the Mellow Audio uh, MIDI Commander isn't quite uh, up to the task for either of those because it lacks uh, you can't really customize the buttons uh, the I think the CC programming or PC programming is built into them you can switch between PC or, or CC but you can't really do much else with it and uh, you cannot do a long press and you need a long press ability to do the long press if you're do, using a looper say you want to record stop and clear uh, so you're playing along and you want to hit the pedal to record and then hit the pedal again to play and then hit the pedal and hold it to clear that track well it doesn't it doesn't work it won't do a long press and on the mellow audio's website it says that they're working on uh, the ability to do that i think it's momentary or, or whatever and I think they changed it so, you, so it can do momentary, but it can't do the long press. But they've got some updates to it, and I, I installed all the updates, and I still couldn't get it to work the way I wanted it to, and so I ended up selling that uh, pedal. And but uh, then I decided I would use I would get a, a hardware looper instead, and so I got the Boss RC uh, 500, which is a great pedal by itself. But it's even better when you expand it with this this is called the midi captain <laughs> so it's actually the same chassis the same frame as the midi commander same amount of buttons on it uh it, it's not mellow audio this is from paint audio like you paint with a brush and uh it's called the midi captain so it's definitely either a, a purposeful upgrade to the MIDI Commander or this particular company saw the limitations of the MIDI Commander and went well we can do better here's the MIDI Captain so this is a MIDI pedal you've got uh, 10 buttons on it uh, these buttons here are usually used for up and down to control your presets and then you can program these buttons and this thing you can program uh, customize it to your heart's content so it's got two expansion ports so you can plug in a volume pedal and an expression pedal and then it's got this uh, wheel here that controls the menu it's got a nice color lcd uh, display and then it's got led different led lights you can actually customize the color of these lights so let's say you knew that play and record was you know red or whatever so you can customize all these so and then you have midi in midi out midi commander only had midi in so you couldn't do MIDI through on the MIDI Commander or have MIDI out for um, like tempo. Uh, this one has an on off switch, which is cool. I don't know if MIDI Commander had that, but the MIDI Commander did not have a nine volt adapter port where this one does. MIDI Commander, you could do either use batteries in that one or you got power from the USB cable. I like the fact that this has its own power cable. So, what else can we say about this other than let's plug it in and see what it does so we have the midi commander here on our bench and we've plugged it into the computer with the provided usb cable and basically what you do is you hold down uh, button one and turn it on and that puts you into uh, setup mode <clears throat> now, as you can see maybe not since my big fat head is in the way uh, it opens up like a USB drive and so you have this MIDI captain USB drive 
and this is all the files that you can customize. So first thing you should do is select all these, hit copy, find a place where you can back them up to, and then paste it into that spot. That way if you mess something up, or you delete something accidentally, whatever, you've got your default settings. Okay, so what we want is this one right here called Setup. That's the folder where all the presets are. So these global setups are presets, factory presets for uh, particular like pedals and uh, software. So these are the presets. There's a, looks like Axe Effects, Bias Effects, Jamp. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, a Kemper. I'm not sure what PC3 and 8 is. Uh, one for all CC, which is all mini CC messages. Uh, one for PCNT, not sure what that is. All NT, which is notes. Oh, this is PC and note. So PC commands and notes. Uh, all notes or a mix of CC, PC commands, and notes. So what I'm going to do, and then within those presets so the global preset like global setup one is the and i've already changed this but this was the setup for preset one jamp and it, and it said it said jamp before i changed it to rc 500 so if you go to global setup two see it says bias that's the name of this setup and so the buttons are uh, programmed to this particular setup. So then what I did, <clears throat> I went into global setup one, changed the preset name right here to RC500, and it just opens up a notepad and you just change it and hit save. There's nothing magical about it, it's just a text file. And I think this is where you can set, it has something to do with a, wire, uh, a looper, in this I'm not exactly sure what all that does you can change the wallpaper which is the the background of this LED LCD display and uh, there's like images in there that you can change it to just to make it fancy looks way better uh, dark letters on a light background so you can actually see it you can customize that too if you open up a bitmap and edit it um, and you can turn off the wheel in case you touch it accidentally uh, when you're stepping on the buttons, but really there's nothing to change on here. The screen lightness, whether the fonts are dark or light, you can edit all that in here. The expression pedals, so all that can be customized. So all I did here was change the name. I think I put dark fonts on. Okay, so then preset one are all the button settings for global setup one. So you go to preset one, and these are all the buttons. And it starts, I believe, here at button one. I think key zero is button one. And it tells you up here, yep, key one is key zero in here. ID five, key A is ID five, so key five, if that makes sense. Okay, so you start here, that's key zero, and what I did, and this is to get it to work with the Boss RC500 loop pedal as an expansion pedal, because on the Boss RC500, you have three buttons, you have record, play, stop, and track, select, and it's a two-channel looper, so you bounce between tracks with track select you can hit record play it also overdubs and then stop and stop hold for clear and what i'm going to do is set this pedal up for start stop channel one or play record channel one track one stop clear track one play record overdub track two stop play track two stop start all um Tap tempo, start, stop, 
drums and then I don't re I don't think I've programmed these other buttons yet so that'll get you going with the looper and it'll add quite a bit of flexibility and expand the capabilities of the RC 50 500 500 RC 500 so you basically go in here and you want CC mode you want the CC value or CC number which is the uh, the CC command number and I made them 1 through 10 so this is 1 that can be arbitrary but they have to be between oh it says somewhere in the RC 500 manual it has to be between 64 and 127 or something. There's, there's a limitation as where you can put it because there's some that are dedicated to the pedals, different functions. I'll see if I can find that document. <clears throat> so I made it one, PC number one, PC value 127. Uh, the rest of this stuff is off. P uh, CC toggle is off. You don't want to toggle your, your momentary switch and then down here is a uh, key release that has to be enabled in order for this to work at least it, it does so far that i know uh, the cc number is still one and then the value when it's released the button's release is zero and then P cc toggle again is zero so those are the things that you want to you want to mess with and I'll see if I can maybe post a, a JPEG or something of this with these highlighted so then you basically go through each button and you assign it a number 1 through uh, 1 through 10 so if you go here then you notice this is key ID 1 which is actually 2 on here I named it 2 CC number is 2 127 for the CC value uh, toggle CC value toggle is 0 enable is 1 uh, PC release mode is CC PCC number is 2 still CC value when it's released is 0 so basically you go through all these until you get to number 10, CC number 10, and that would be this button. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. And you just save it. This is your, you're viewing the files from within the pedal as if it were like a USB key or a USB drive. So any changes you make to these, as soon as you hit file save, it saves them close that out you're done and then it, you just turn it off and it writes everything's written to it and then we will set it up with the RC 500 and we'll see what we can do all right so we got our MIDI commander we got our RC 500 pedal all set up on our messy pedal board and uh, what we need to connect this the MIDI command, uh, MIDI captain, excuse me, has a five pin MIDI in and out. And we are coming out of the MIDI captain into the RC500. And the RC500 has these breakout cables that are purchased separately, of course. Uh, it's a mini jack, three, 3.5 millimeter, whatever the heck it is, on the one end and a five, point, uh, five pin MIDI on the other side. And so that goes into the input MIDI input on the back and then into a MIDI cable and the MIDI captain actually came with a cable it's a white MIDI cable I already had this cable so and then uh, then you go to the MIDI output and then I've got it plugged in with the uh, power cable from the the pedal board power and then you turn it on on the back <clears throat> a 
Okay. There's your LCD display with the background on it. So you can see it's like waves or something. You can completely customize that. And then this is a wheel to select things with, and you can actually press it. It's a button. And see how you can switch back between those two different things. So you can press it. Oops. Back. There you go. And then here, I don't know if you can see, hopefully you can. Preset is RC500, and you can actually change that to the different presets. But we want the one that we created, RC500, um, and that's it. MIDI channel 1, we make sure we're on MIDI channel 1, and uh, that's it. So we can back out of that, and it'll reset itself. <coughs> Okay, so now on the RC, I actually have stuff set up on memory one. And so to communicate with this pedal, you need to go to memory. Control, assign. So there's eight assigns on here, but there's... 10 buttons on the pedal board so i'll probably end up doing is setting these two buttons to uh, the memory banks so you can change between the one one through 99 memory banks on the rc 500 uh, because you're limited to the assigns of of eight but i think there's a way to to expand that but i'm not sure but anyway so assign one and you hit that button, assign one, you make sure it's on. And then your CC, and I'm, I think I'm calling this one button, assign one. It's, I should probably do the top left, because that's button one, but anyway. So then the CC number, this is CC6, and when you press these, it actually tells you on the screen what, see, seven, this is CC6. Okay, it's right there. So then the source is CC6. Source mode is momentary. Target. So anyway, that's where you set the, the function that you want it to, to be. So target. And then press that button. This is the button. It was, a, it was a dial and a button. So then you can select whatever you want. Track 1. Track two, input, output, play, stop, clear. So what I've got is track one, record, play. Okay, and then track target minimum, maximum. That I don't think you mess with that. And then you exit out. And then you go through and assign two. Assign two on source the cc number whatever cc number you assign this pedal so it's seven you can see it right there seven it's seven uh momentary play stop for track one so this is record play track one play stop track one this is track two record play this is track two play stop and then we have so one, two, three, four, five, assign five, which is this pedal, is CC10. You press it, see, it says CC10. And that's all start. And all start also is all stop. I don't know if you hold it down, if it'll clear everything out, it might. Okay. I actually have a loop in here. Okay, so now with the let's see, memory, now for the all start, all stop, I set it to toggle. That's what seemed to work. And then for this one here, this is tap tempo. 
that's momentary. See, target, tap, tempo. And then this is for starting and stopping the drum rhythm. And so that one you want to set to toggle. Source mode toggle. And then eight, I don't even know what I have for that. Ver oh, variation. So this is, uh, it plays a fill and then it switches you to the, to the next variation. So it's like, uh, goes from rhythm to chorus in the drum pattern. Okay. So in menu, I think we go to MIDI. That should be channel one. Um, I think that's really it. I don't think there's anything else to do there. I think it just worked out of the box. I don't think I changed anything else. And then I set, uh, this would be two tracks playing uh, together and then you can set it up so that you can have one track play and then when you start recording on the second track it stops the first track and that is a different setup but we'll i'll cover that in a different video but this is just if you want to play uh record like a rhythm or a drum beat or a something on track one and then maybe play a bass line or something or a, or, a, or a melody or something on track two and they play together and you can start and stop them independently of each other and then you can start uh, uh, drum beats and that's independent of them too so if you watch my video on the donner circle looper that was the looper that had a built-in uh, drum patterns to it you could you could start the drum beat record uh, you're playing and dub over dub and you could stop the loop the recorded loop but I don't think if you started the recorded loop up again it would stay synced to the drums but if you stopped the drums and played the loop and then wanted to start the drums it wouldn't sync to the loop somehow so anyway it was it lacked a lot of flexibility for any you couldn't expand it either with pedals so so then that's when I got the uh, mellow audio loop pedal that MIDI commander so that I could try that with quanti loop but then uh it didn't work I had made a midi pedal and that sort of worked but the housing was you know I, I just don't have time to to mess with that so I got the boss RC 500 that sort of fits the bill but it doesn't have enough buttons rather to control all the features like to be able to start and stop the drums you have to go down and press on off and so it's it really needs a pedal, a MIDI pedal, or these uh, add-on expression pedals to control it really well. So then I happened to be, I think I did a Google search, maybe it was, or, or it was Amazon, and I saw this MIDI Captain and that it was basically the MIDI Commander. I mean, it looks just like it, but it's uh, updated. They, they made it so that you can customize it. And it's got the long press, and so here we are with the boss. And so we're going to sort of show you what this is capable of. So I got this running into my DAW, which is Reaper. And so the output is. So I'm not sure how to clear all. So what you do is if you hold down the stop button it'll clear so i do i clear on the boss uh i gotta figure out if i can clear on the on the midi captain so, so i go, go to each track and hold the stop button down and that clears it you can see it blink so when everything's blue then you're good to go um i think i'm going to change that to green or red or something I think you can change I think you can customize the colors of the LEDs in the boss also. Uh, that'll be have to be another video.
Okay, so let's show you what we can do here. So we have a uh, we have the pedal set to pick up the tempo from playing. So what I would do is probably like if this was a performance, I would just play you know a chord progression. And then you can play the next or record the next track. <laughs> that was terrible. Let's try that again. and you can undo also but I'll have to set another pedal setting for that there we go that's better okay so now we have two tracks we can control their volume. Okay, so now we have the rhythm pattern on this button. So we'll go. Okay. And then we can stop all, and the drum, drums continue. And then if you hit this variation button, See, it hit play to fill, and then it switched into sort of the chorus. And it's all in time. And you can start start all. And you hear it pause a little bit, so it would, it would start and sync. And you can stop individual. See that? Turn the drums off. Now the only thing is, if you stop all, it doesn't affect the drums. So I'm not sure how that, you know. So there you have it. That's what I was trying to do with the circle looper, which it wouldn't do. It was close. That, was, that would be an all-in-one pedal that would kind of work. It only had a single uh, loop track, though. The Bossy RC500 has a two loop tracks, so that's that's quite a bit better. And uh, when you expand it with the MIDI Captain, then you've got that flexibility. And then you can also set the RC500 up to do verse chorus. I'm going to do another video on that because I don't remember right off the top of my head how it's done. But anyway, and then. Uh, like I said, I don't think the yeah, this is just start stop, so there's got to be a global clear, but you, I think you can do it here. Nope, it changed it somehow. I held that track select button down, I think it selects both tracks. Maybe that's it. Maybe you hold that down, select both tracks. See, it turned uh. Uh, magenta and then hold the stop down yep that's how you clear both tracks you hold the track select button down tell both tracks blink track select button uh, turns magenta hold the stop button down clears both tracks and you can do that from the RC and then you hit track select again and it pulls you back into single track mode I think this setup is pretty pretty good so i'm going to be using this this is how i'm going to have things set up i would put my pedal board together with this on it and we'll use it for a while and see how it does and it'll be good to go so i hope you found this video 
uh, useful. Uh, I know this MIDI Captain is a fairly brand new pedal. I haven't seen any other reviews on it on YouTube or whatnot. So uh, I'm going to hopefully dive into it a little bit more and maybe post some more tutorials on it. Uh, maybe I'll uh, do another video with Quanti Loop because Quanti Loop would probably work really well with this pedal. And also uh, like bias effects and things like that. So anyway, Jay Salon, Jay Salon Music, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.